We made it to the NT, we just crossed over into the border. Unfortunately, we don't really have time to take pretty photos because uh, we're running a bit late. We don't do that anyway. Nah. Oh, 1.30! Oh, Jesus! Open her up, boys, 1.30. I've never seen that. Time. We don't really see that in, uh, in Queensland. We sort of maxed out at 1.10. Oh, What I really love out here is how much there is to see. Like over the over here, it's like grass, and some clouds, and not much here. But then over here, there's like a road and some lines, and then over here, show, show, show my window. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Show my window. Yeah, see how it differs to the other side. Like we've got little grass and we've got different clouds yeah. to the other side. So. Definitely different clouds. There's so much to see out here. It's great. <laughs> Berkeley. Oh, Two dollars seven a litre. Bargain. It's all up, boy. Hey, right, quick lunch stop. How's the fire, mate? Good, mate. Cheers. Happy days. Cheers. It's a cool spot. I like this. It's not bad, eh? Were you an auto electrician in your past life? Yeah. Yeah. I'm one of those guys that has like 24 packs all connected into each other. And what are you doing, Lane? Muck oh, around another, with another, mate, another, another. What are you? Oh, no, you're all right, mate. You're all right. He's pulling apart my battery system. Yeah, I gotta keep my beers cold. Jesus. We're a fair way into this pie now. Tell us what you really think of the pie, Burks. It wouldn't come this far to try the pie. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Fuel wasn't that cheap either. The beer's cold, but. Similar terrain as earlier, with not a great deal, but it's just a lot browner, I guess. There is nothing. along out here on the what roads this we turned off at uh, Tableland Highway Tableland Highway and I reckon we're probably up to about 15 make that 16 dead cows we've seen out here it's that bloody dry you hear about it all the time um, it's another thing to see it I guess 17 18 little baby calves 19 20 out of control um, Bit of an eye opener for us, I guess. You hear about it. 21. Baby one. I think um, we might have to uh, do a bit more to back the farmers when we get home. See if we can't get a bit of a rally together for them. Anyway, just thought we'd give you a bit of an insight to what we're seeing. Um, it does open your eyes a little bit to just how bloody dry it is out here. sometimes just to know exactly what speed I'm going and then also of course rear front and rear lockers I can do all my light bars from here uh, it gives me the date and time I can set um, I can set uh, I guess a countdown clock a few different things surprisingly you actually use it up above me I've got my cruiser console uh, roof console 
I've got my Red Arc Manager 30 display up here. We're at 100% battery. Been driving for three days. It didn't bloody want to be. And then uh, just the Oricom UHF up there as well. Nice and easy for me and Berkey to use. The rest of the truck's pretty much a mess at the moment. But uh, oh, and then of course we've got the Waco 12 litre center, center console, which is extremely handy for cold bottles of water. What's this do? Yeah, now she works. This is my side. Yeah, I've show off your side. Got, uh, got, got this pocket. This one. Just put stuff in there. Things. Footwell. Oh yeah, this thing. That's about it. Window. Uh, pretty basic, really. Well, tell you what, this place looks very nice. We've just pulled up at um, Cape Crawford. It's about 170k from Lorella. We've had a pretty big day. Check this place out, but green grass, beautiful trees, we've got palm tree. We've just filled up. We've got hot meals, cold beer. Heartbreak Hotel. I'd say this will be us for the night. You beauty. You reckon? Oh man, I reckon this place just came out of nowhere. Look at it. It's awesome. Stay here tonight? Yeah, stay here tonight. This is it for tonight, I think. This, this is, is pretty uh, bloody nice considering. It's a little oasis coming from where we just were. Yeah, absolutely. They got a pool, beer, and we're on. Oh, did not expect this place. How's this for a little camp setup? Underneath the beautiful tree, camera crew. Getting it done, just, just everyday campers now. So I'm biting away my pole. Oh, <laughs> oh mate. What am I supposed to do here? It's a situation. Who made this trailer? See, uh, what you need is a bush company, no poles, you know what I'm saying? You help a brother out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dean, hook a bloke up. He needs, he, needs, he needs a good awning, Dean. Of course, we got Wayne. Berkey slept in here last night, I'm just airing it out a bit. What? Oh yeah, it's room. It's about eight heaven. Grass fits with the track around on the back. Happy hour in 15 minutes, mate. Stop filming, let's go. Only place in the world that has Optus pool bar. Is? You wouldn't read about that. Look at that shit. Hey. Yeah. Optus, full reception. Telstra, not a dot. <laughs> not a dot. Happy hour, <laughs> mate. Hey. Hey, can you get smaller? Don't ever dance on that again. Oh, just a please, I'm going to take that bin here. Oh, we're going to fix that U-Pay for Cam? Not for you, sorry. How do you always end up getting work for uh, we go? They let me wind the bar here. Yeah, I've got to work work for me beer here. I've got no cash. <laughs> what are you his ass? Hey, fucking! Oi! <laughs> Kick Security. Out. Security. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Heading up to Lorella today, pretty excited. We had a uh, dry drive yesterday. Um, we got to this little oasis, bar, swimming pool, green grass, trees. Excited, excited <laughs> for the hot spring. Morning, buddy. Lot, mate. Yeah, mate, I can't wait. Straight no shower. Up. So, pack up, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, holy fuck. Um, So we, because I'm hooking Lane's trailer up, we tried to charge it, piggybacking off my electrical system off the 12 volt here. We had a DC, luckily, very luckily, I had the Red Arc manager just screen above me and um, it displayed a, a, an over voltage, so we pulled over um, to have a look. As we've pulled over, cab started filling with smoke um, lots of smoke, electrical, now massive fuck up, I left my fire extinguisher at home, basically, 
insulation caught on fire because it was too hot. Then the uh, wires underneath the car caught on fire. Underneath the car basically lit up on flames after a couple of jerry cans of dousing and um, some water bottles we managed to get the fire out thank fuck so a bit shaken up now we're just trying to work out how bad the damage is and see what we can salvage but um massive lesson learnt gotta carry a fire extinguisher we're not 100% sure when, when, what went wrong here. There should have been a fuse probably blow before that happened, but we were trying to piggyback. No good. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh, you, you shit yourself. <laughs> Followed by me shitting myself because my bag was on top and I thought all my clothes were going to go up. It was bloody Lane good. went up before I did. Oh, yes. I got out of the car running. I didn't realise I fucking ran against your door and like almost KO'd myself. This is the fucking aftermath. So what do you reckon? It was sitting on the exhaust. Nah. I think it melted the cable ties. So we're that lucky that water put out an electrical fire. Otherwise, there would be no more 76. I think it was the batteries. As as I took that other one off. Took the current away. Two batteries there. We were trying to tip water, Berkey was trying to undo the batteries. We were just throwing whatever we could at it. That's a, that happens quick, eh? It's a, um, we had a warning a over voltage thing. and we pulled over, looked back, smoke, and within 15 seconds, flame on. Out of control. Yeah. We haven't started the show, it has just been drama after drama. My car's fine. How yeah, good are the ones that they <laughs> ride? Oh, the ones they ride off the most are the ones that keep going. Yeah, that's right. Burks, I'll start the car, leave that feed to the back off, and then we'll yeah, and then we'll just hold that on and see if we've got power and hopefully no smoke. Just leave that one off, Burks. The car starts, that's a small win. Alright, Berkey, chuck it on. Just, just hold it on for the top. Hold yeah, hold, hold, it, hold yeah. it on. You'll have to keep it there for a little bit until it kicks in. Charge. Yes. Yeah, we're good, mate. Okay. We're good. We're good. I don't know. I don't know how. I really don't know how. But uh, we've managed to we've managed to save all the Red Arc Manager 30. All the feeds, all the batteries work. All my fridges will work. The only thing we fried completely is the cable that was running from the battery to the trailer. Well. I'm just about lost for words. I do not want to come any closer than that. That's as close as you get to burning your whole car down. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Lorella Springs. Woohoo! Finally, here we come. Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull over and have one of them shortly. We made it. We made it. We finally made it, Simon D. Hey. We're here. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of us getting up to Lorella Springs. Uh, make sure if you want to see the full episode, you subscribe. Stay tuned, it will be out shortly. Uh, until next time, see you on uh, Matt's vlogs. <laughs>